click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends now we will discuss what is mean by clock signal let's start the discussion so your heading is clock signal now how to draw clock signal first of all clock signal consist of logic 0 and logic 1 in this way the pulses you have to draw these are called as the digital pulses now we have to denote the parameters this line is called as the logic 0 line and this is called as the logic 1 it is also called as the low level and this is called as the high level one more parameter is there this is called as the leading edge and this edge is called as the falling edge the clock signal we are going to apply to the sequential circuit must have the 50% duty cycles means for 50% of time it should be on and for 50% of time it should be off suppose this is your total time t in this way you have to apply the clock signals with equal interval of time now we are going to see the triggering methods there are two types of triggering methods positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering so first of all we will see the positive edge triggering in positive edge triggering we have to draw the clock signal how you will draw the clock signal this is your clock signal now the positive edge triggering is called as what whenever your signal moves from low level to the high level it is called as the positive edge triggering the name of this triggering is positive edge and negative edge triggering is called as what we will see here negative edge triggering again you have to draw the clock signal now for negative edge triggering you should have first of all high level and it should go towards the low level this triggering is called as the negative edge triggering so according to the applications you have to use the positive edge triggered clock or the negative edge triggered clock this is all about the introduction to the clock signal thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and subscribe to ekida